load all classes using Composer's Autoloader. Before we create the script to process the queued emails, let's clean up the send script a bit so we can avoid repeating ourselves. As you know, when you use a class that's defined in a separate file, you have to require that file first, like this. Many third-party packages like PHP Mailer provide an autoloader. So if a package has many classes, instead of requiring them all individually, all you need to do to be able to use any of them is include the package's autoloader, like this. And that's what we're doing here in our send script. First, we're requiring PHP Mailer's autoloader, and then the two classes we've defined so far, config and queue. However, as we're using Composer, we don't need to include PHP Mailer's autoloader directly, as Composer has its own autoloader that automatically includes all the autoloaders of each package installed. So we can replace this require statement with this one. However, Composer's autoloader is not just for third-party packages. We can also add our own classes to it, so we don't have to explicitly require any external classes at all. To do this, in an autoload section in Composer.json, you can add a class map that lists individual class files or folders that contain the classes. So if we go back to our code, we can add the classes folder where our PHP class files are. Like that. Now, as we've updated the autoload section in composer.json, we have to update composer's autoloader on the command line. We do that by running the composer dump autoload command, and by the way the dash o flag just optimizes it, like that. And now if we go back to our send script, we can remove these two require lines, like that, and just have composer's autoloader. Let's just check that this still works. And it does. So we've cleaned up our script using Composer's autoloader, and now we can add another script without adding repeated code.